We're standing here in front of the FO550 SP machine. Uh, this uh, product was launched at EMO uh, 2007. Uh, on this product here we have the linear tool changer and a dynamic process control. One of the easiest controls but more in, uh, intuitive controls for adding automation, adding tool changer, uh, and being able to simplify the process of dice syncing EDM. Uh, the machine itself has a uh, uh, 80 gig hard drive in it with uh, touchscreen capability. It was designed in, uh, in a two-year development stage where we asked customers what they wanted to control. Then we came up with a control that took you through step-by-step step, through the control to, in order to create a program on the machine in order to cut on the machine. The uh, machine has a way to create programs Start at, what, at your first step and you walk down through each of your steps here from describing the job through the tools, describing your tools, describing your parts, describing the cavity locations, and then into the actual EDM process where you just answer some simple questions. Uh, what kind of material are we burning? We have a lot of technology in the machine itself. So if I want to do graphite to steel, I pick that the type of application and here is where we've uh, added some detailed applications from micro machine to foam mold bodies to even uh, LED capabilities all built into the control itself so all the strategies that you have to learn on how to tweak the generator in are added into the into these uh, applications so when I say I want to do a rib it now has the strategies in the generator automatically put in there for you to do a rib. From there you tell it what type of orbit cycle you'd like to do. So down in orbit, very typical. What type of surface finish you'd like to achieve. So here it's in a CH value, but if I have F3 on the keyboard it gives me a choices of surface finishes in our in a VDI as well as RA. So I pick that. Then uh, what is my priority? Do I want to do speed and speed? Or am I looking for low wear? This machine comes with the IQ technology in it so that I can reduce my electrodes uh, cost by reducing the number of electrodes I use because I don't wear out the electrode as, as fast. From there, I generate the cycle and I go into sequences. Inside sequences here uh, where I can arrange the, uh, the way I want to do the burning from workpiece to cavity, from cavity to cavities. And from there, I go into the program itself and from here I can simulate it using a simulator or execute it right after I've gotten to the last step and execute it like we don't, we're doing right now in this dry run fashion in the machine itself. So you can see it's a step-by-step -step process through the control making it very easy and intuitive for the customer to just feed the information to it in order to write the program. The application you see here is a rib burn where we're doing a deep rib burn uh, the rib here is actually only an inch and a half in length, but it's held on to a fixture, as you can see here. Uh, the fixture is holding the electrode as it's going through the material. We're dry running through the part right now, but this is the actual cut that we did with the actual fixture in the machine. The fixture that's holding the electrode is slightly smaller than the electrode, so it allows it to follow behind the electrode as it's doing the burn through this uh, deep rib. The reason why you can see the electrode dry running through the part is because we put the, the part into a wire EDM machine and cut away the, uh, the material so that we could actually see inside. The whole goal of this uh, application was not just to be able to do a deep burn, but also to maintain a surface finish inside of the cavity. So the surface finish was critical as well as being able to burn it deep and we were able to successfully do that 16 inches deep into this uh, piece of aluminum which represents the type of material the customer was actually using as well. The machine is a full drop tank design machine so it allows for automation, uh, robotics as well as a rotary tool changer. Uh, maximum rotary tool changer you, uh, tools you can put on the machine is 160 tools with the rotary tool changer. Here's a six position linear tool changer on the machine itself. The machine comes with an accuracy C axis on it, standard, 
Uh, this C-axis is a high inertia C-axis. It allows you to go up to 5,000 grams of torque on the uh, electrode. So uh, a very robust system for indexing as well as rotating at 100 RPMs constantly through the uh, uh, cycle of, of the cut if you're doing contouring.